Hey everybody, Dave Lerner, Venture Studio. Our guest today is Neil Capel, CEO and founder of Sail Through. Neil, great to see you. Great How to are you? you? What is Sail Through? Sail Through is a behavioral email provider. So most people will send out the same mass mail to everybody on their list. They've got 100,000, they've got a million. They're sending the same email out to all of them. You're trying to get whatever sticks the longest to, to actually try and engage most of the audience. What you really want to be doing is doing what we're doing with our providers, and that's actually individually focusing the email at that user. So each and every piece of content is selected for the user based on their interests, and we figure out their interests from their clickstream data. So I'm a large company with a big email distribution. I come to you, I engage you, give you the emails, and you start doing your magic. Exactly, and we send that out, and we'll make sure that the customer lifetime value of those users is vastly elongated, as well as the daily activity and engagement, so that their brand recognition is there and everyone's talking about that product. So tell us a little about the sale through business model. How do you guys actually make money? We're an enterprise sale, so we, you know, we sell to, we compete with the exact targets and the silver pops of the world, and we really are selling a contract as a year-based contract, and this software is a service, really, but it is a year-based uh, you know, enterprise nice. contract. And you were uh, a coder that was, you went into banking and you were doing some tech for banking or what? Uh, yeah, I was a coder back in England, um, back in the day, and uh, then Morgan Stanley brought me over for uh, actually a post 9 11 product, uh, project, which was much more um, server side. Uh, and then I was doing that, and then I ended up running a web shop for a while, uh, and, and you know, eventually turned into Sail Through. So you founded Sail Through, what, two years ago? Two years ago, um, back sort of when Lehman collapsed, it was pretty much the start date of the company. Uh, wow. Not the best timing, but uh, there you go. But uh, And we built the company out from there. Uh, how did you actually get the company started? I'm sure people would want to know. So I bootstrapped the company for the first year, which was pretty painful. Uh, and every time I went to go and raise money uh, in that first year, which was, you know, I intended to do, uh, I got an another larger client that was going to pay me revenues pretty quickly, and I needed that revenue for myself. So I actually put off raising the uh, rent, the first seed series for uh, two times uh, before we finally did Just it. Just to try to address the needs of your clients. I had to address the needs of the clients, but also you know knowing that a, a closing the round out would probably be a three or four month process, and, and knowing where my pocket was, and which was right. not doing great, okay. <laughs> I needed to you know make sure the company was surviving for me as well. All right, so you were hustling and scrambling for a year straight, basically. Yes, yeah. Okay. And during this first year, how many people were on the team? Uh, myself, uh, I was only full-time. Uh, my co-founder was working elsewhere and sort of doing some, some other bits and pieces in the off hours that he could, uh, but the, uh, sort of the, everything else was full-time on me. Did you raise some friends and family money? Did you max out your credit cards? How did you fund yourself in the beginning? I funded myself from my own pocket um, and then towards the latter part of that year it went onto the credit cards. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there was no friends and family around there. And your first round was from whom and for how much? So we raised a million dollars uh, and it was a seed round with DFJ Gotham, Metamorphic, RRE, AOL Ventures and Thrive and Lear. Everyone's from New York. Oh yeah, I'm a big yeah. New York fan. So New York okay. is uh, New York's home for me. Tell us a little about your team. Uh, our team is fantastic. We're 18 people now, I think, and uh, growing fast. Uh, a lot of those are tech people. And how were you able to find all this tech talent here in New York? Everyone's complaining about how difficult it is. Ah, well, that's the secret there. <laughs> <Okay>. See, <laughs> I, I, when we come to finding tech talent, I tend to actually gravitate to certain niche meetups where I can find programmers that are not looking for jobs. Uh, I think that you know, in this industry, especially in New York, the only way you can really find developers is frankly from that network of people and finding people that aren't looking for jobs. How many enterprise clients roughly do you guys have? We have a range of about 160 odd clients, uh, 15 of which I would say enterprise, and then I would say there's a large track that are sort of SMBs. What's the next step vis-a-vis -vis investment, Series A, what are you, what are you thinking? So we're going to raise uh, three and a half million um, now and uh, go out and really grow that out so that we can go international and we can grow our tech teams out on our accounts team uh, and sales team and really just replicate this process but much bigger. Um, you know, we still have cash in the bank so it's a case of let's, let's just roll this out and, and go for it and take on the big guys that we've been taking on now but we're going to take more of that market share from them. And you're here at AOL Ventures. You've got the whole back area, I yeah, see. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And hopefully, you know, we, we love this space, but hopefully we're going to grow very, very fast and then just kick AOL out. So you're going to kick it. Mike Brown yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. I like we'll that. Keep Mike out.
So things are really going great for sale through right now. You're profitable, et cetera. What advice do you have for entrepreneurs who are watching this show who are just starting out? I did so many startups on the side when I was fully employed that I know I could have been successful if I put the effort into them. Uh, and this was the first company I really went full, full swing for. And I went and quit everything and I did it. And I would say to any entrepreneur out there that if they've got the inkling that they're thinking about being an entrepreneur, go do it. It's the best thing you can do. And if you don't do it, you'll only be thinking about it forever. Uh, and it, without doing it full force, the, your success ratio is just, uh, it's, it's against you. The, the odds are against you. So if some people are out there kind of moonlighting and doing stuff on the side, what's the point at which they should say to themselves, I'm going all in? Well, it's definitely an individual decision and obviously you've got to live, so you've got to figure out how you can do that. But I think that if you can risk it and figure out how to live and whether that's living with your parents or whatever it is uh, and going full force for it, I think you've just got to find that in you and, and find where that is and go for it. Neil, it's a real pleasure. Great meeting you. It was a great pleasure. Thank you. Venture Studio in association with Mashable is brought to you by Square One Bank.